three thumbs. Are you ready? Hi guys, welcome back to a, another video. If you're new here, welcome, hello. I've got a bit of an exciting video to do today, but also like probably the one that I've been the most nervous. <laughs> about just because I feel like it's just fully exposing me. As you could see by the thumbnail and also by the title I am going to be organising slash decluttering my closet. My closet is the messiest thing in my life and I have never had a clean closet like ever like I'm one of those people that when I'm getting ready I just freaking chuck things everywhere and like throw them about and then like lob them back in and then because it just gets so bad and so bad and so bad like I don't know, it just becomes, oh, I don't know, massive procrastinator as well, so that's probably another reason I've never got around to doing it. I thought it would be really fun to take you guys on this journey, I'm gonna declutter, I'm gonna tidy it up, and hopefully it should be quite satisfying to see the end result, but first I should probably show you what it's like, and that literally has me quaking, like, I'm nervous as hell. So without further ado, let's get into this video. Uh. I'm <laughs> so nervous. Are you ready? The thing's literally... This is my skeleton. <laughs> so literally, like, this shelf up, those two shelves are my boyfriend's. <laughs> and then all of this is mine. It's so embarrassing. And then, it's not even the end of it. For clothes, this is the best. I've got all my coats and stuff hanging up, absolutely fine. And then you look down, and it's just full of a lot of shit. You know shit's getting real when the bicycle shorts come on. <laughs> so I think probably what's going to be best is if I just take out everything. That might sound really extreme, but I just think it's going to be best. And put it on the bed. Have a little sift through, because I feel like there's probably... I've literally not really cleared my clothes out for a while, so I feel like there's probably quite a lot of things that I just don't need, don't use. Still, like, undecided as to whether I want to do... Um, like, organise everything colour-coordinated, or, like, by item. So... Yeah, that's probably what we're gonna do. Just get everything out, out in the open. All my sins. <laughs> Honestly, like, it's that bad that the doors aren't even open properly. I'm just gonna do it. Ah! There's a lot more than I thought there was going to be. A lot more than I thought I was going to do. But I did find a couple of things that I thought I'd lost. Which is really the joy of this. And I was actually like, you don't need to stress out. Because you're like, where did that go? Where did it go? It's fine, I found it. So what I'll probably first do is like a keep and a throw pile. Because there's so many things in here that I love. But like, it's either just not really my style anymore. Or like, I just don't wear like enough to justify keeping it and justify taking up space because ideally I want the majority of my stuff hanging up or like in that in the main wardrobe bit with the like curtain pole things. I need to take a hay view of tablet or something. Just get them to me.
so pretty proud this here is my keep pile and then this here is my sell slash giveaway pile because i'll probably be able to i don't know i might put some stuff on depop if i do i will link my depop down below as well and you can check out the little garms that i have this one was especially hard i've got i've had these dungarees for so long and they're the cutest freaking things and i got them from this little vintage store look ants but like they're just too big and i hardly wear them and i just keep them because they keep like look at the back pocket how freaking cute is that? So far I'm doing a lot better than I thought I would and I did that a lot quicker than I thought I would as well. So now what I'm probably gonna do is, yeah, just sort out these clothes. I do have some clothes in the wash as well. I do wanna just admit that. <laughs> so naturally I had to take a little coffee break um, and yes, that is a pug. So what I'm probably gonna do, so I've got these really cool, let me just put them on, sorry. I've got these, like, they're like material pants away material like things in a few different sizes like, um, and essentially what I want to do is I need to go through my underwear which I'm not going to do on camera sauce guys um but I need to go through my underwear and like I've literally I just like accumulate it and I need to just chuck out loads of stuff that like because I there's literally so many pairs like especially with pants that I will look at and be like yeah I'm not wearing those they're so uncomfortable I literally thought to myself the other day, I was like, why don't I chuck them out then if I'm never going to wear them because they're uncomfortable, like, so silly. Like, when I do it with tights as well, oh my god, do any other girls do it with tights? Where they'll literally go to try on a pair of tights and it'll have a hole in and you're like, oh, chuck it back in there. And like, chuck it out, Sasha, chuck it out, essentially. And I've got so many hats, like, oh my gosh, I have so many hats. I've got this hat, this hat, this hat, this hat. This hat, this hat, this hat, this hat, this hat, this hat, and I've, oh my god, and I've definitely got more hats in there as well, so I kind of want to have one of these solely dedicated to hats, because I feel, I think it needs it, and then I want to have one for socks and one for pants, and that's it, I just want it to be like hats, socks, pants, oh, and then tight skin going socks, like I said, I'm not going to do that on camera, because like, there's definitely some creepy people out there, but like, I don't really want you seeing my niggers. And then I'll just show you the boxes after, like how neat and tidy they look. But yeah, be right back. So I finished with sorting out like bras, socks, hats. I've got my hats in this one here. They didn't quite all fit perfectly in this thing, but I mean, what can you do? Maybe I'll have to try and find a better storage idea for my hats. If anyone has any ideas for storing hats, please comment them down below. Um, I'd be really appreciative. Anyways, this is my socks and my tights. Also, oh my gosh, look at that. Can you see that? That, I burnt myself on a curling iron, so yay for me. Anyways, yeah, so socks, tights, bras, and then my pants. I literally just chucked out so many things but like yay they all fit in this top shelf and then obviously I've still got these two shelves and then I've got the entire wardrobe still left to fill as well so what I reckon I'm probably gonna do just chill so weird what I reckon I'm probably gonna do now is actually sort through all my keep clothes and sort them into what I want to be hung up and then what I want to be folded because then I can do those separately and hang the ones up that I want to be hung up and then so like essentially I've decided 100% decided that I want to do it in colour order like colour colour order is that yeah colour order but obviously like the hang up and the folded will be like separate so yeah I'm gonna sort into hang up fold and then go from there um, so I did. I feel like I'm actually starting to make like headway now, which is like so much more motiv <laughs> which is really motivational to me. Does that no? Which is really motivating. Fuck oh, yeah, I got there eventually, didn't we?
Okay, so that's my two piles done. This is going to be the hang pile, which now that I've done it, I'm kind of a little bit concerned that I'm not actually gonna have enough coat hangers. Some of it might just have to be changed into fold. Who knows? Um, I don't know which one to do first. I might do hang first, because then if I do hang first, I know if there's anything left over that needs to be folded, and then I can sort of sort that into the colour scheme thing. So yeah, I'll do that. Let's do that. So I have finished doing the wardrobe portion. Honestly, I didn't think I owned that many black clothes, but here we are. And it just looks, it just looks so much better. Obviously I still need to do and sort all of that stuff down there, but yeah, I'm super proud. Woo. Okay, so now I'm gonna crack on with the shell falling with the shelving part so with our folding clothes essentially gonna do exactly the same as I did in the wardrobe except obviously I'm gonna be folding things the majority of this is literally just pajamas so yeah I can't imagine this will take me that long so I'm just gonna crack on <laughs> Thank you. 
so I have now finished the shelving and I've literally got like a whole shelf left and then obviously these little bits there that as well if anyone is wondering what this bag is it's like medical stuff does anyone else have a bag of like medical stuff so I am actually so proud the colour order didn't really go as well as the wardrobe but just because there wasn't enough clothes to really get a good gradient going actually the last job of this cleanup is to to sort out all this shit going on in here which shouldn't take me very long i can't imagine there wasn't actually as much of a mission as i thought it was going to be so pretty pretty psyched about that i'm a little nervous that there's going to be like a lot of spiders so fingers crossed that there's not i'm just going to start by taking everything out i think So here is the bottom bit now. I decided to put my little shoe rack in there, which I normally have downstairs, but I thought, why not pop it in here? And then, so I put my leftover shoes here. I've got a little bag for odd socks down there. And I don't really know what I can pop on this shelf now. To be fair, I do actually have quite a lot of clothes in the wash at the minute, so it might get filled up. Right guys, so that is the end of the video. I literally feel like a weight has been lifted off my shoulders. However, I would have appreciated it not being so dusty because I literally, I don't think I've sneezed so much in my, like in one day. I think I've sneezed more today than I have in my entire lifetime. And I sound like I've got a cold now. Not ideal, especially in this climate. Jesus. I actually had so much fun filming this video and I hope that it was like maybe slightly satisfying to watch. Give this video a thumbs up if you think I should do more videos like this because I've definitely got other things that I can sort of tidy, so to speak. But if you did enjoy this video, please make sure to subscribe. I make new videos every Thursday and every Sunday. But yeah, that is everything. Until next time, bye.